This one's called Paper Hands Blues. Got no house in New Orleans Got no suitcase, got no job Got no house in New Orleans Got no suitcase, got no job My own dog treats me like a stranger Keeps smoking all my drugs My mama ain't no tailor I ain't got no new blue jeans My mama ain't no tailor Oh, I loved a woman once, yeah She really ripped me at the seams first ever 12 bar blues song and my first time using a slide for real like on a song like I've played around with slides in the past but um yeah that was it so that's paper hands blues paper hands uh referring to uh when you don't hold on to your stocks I don't know if it's a a, a stock stock term or a reddit wall street bets term um, but paper hands is when you sell your stocks. Diamond hands is when you hold on to your stocks. Uh, and of course, GME, GameStop, is the big Reddit Wall Street Bet stock. Um, there's others that they talk about from time to time, but it's been GME for months now. And it's doing pretty good right at the moment. Not as well as they would like it to, I'm sure. But um, yeah, 
All right. Um, so this song was inspired. Um, the prompt for this song was uh, something that inspired me to get into music. And something that inspired me to get into music was the song House of the Rising Sun. I know, weird that music got me into music, but it's true. Um, I had The Ventures Walk Don't Run Volume 2 on vinyl, uh, which was technically my dad's, but he had a you know, he had some good stuff on vinyl and I would go up and steal stuff and I had a record player down in my room even back then in the 80s. And uh, yeah, I would just listen to that. That was the first track on that album. So I'd listen to that one over and over again. Eventually I found, um, because I liked that version so much, which I think was the first one I heard, I tracked down, um, my dad also had the vinyl for the animals. Um, so I would listen to their version, of course, of House of the Rising Sun. And... Um, yeah, I've just listened to those songs all the time. That was the first song that I ever learned how to play on the guitar, uh, both strumming, and I learned the whole finger-picking thing. This is tuned to open tuning, so I can't can't do it here. Um, but yeah, I mean, if there was one thing maybe that was responsible for me getting into music, it was House of the Rising Sun. So uh, this song is a blues song, sort of a tribute to that. Obviously, Ain't Got No House in New Orleans, Ain't Got No Suitcase, Got No Jug. Um and then rhyming jug with drugs, so sometimes it was Trump. Mama Ain't No Taylor, Got No New New Blue Jeans. Um, those are pretty direct, like, lyrical homages to House of the Rising Sun lyrics. And then the idea of House of the Rising Sun was as a gambling house, I think it's possible it was a different kind of house of ill repute. I should know. I apologize. Um, but I went the gambling route here. So, um, of course, 21st century gambling happens less often in casinos and these days happens uh, from your phone, right? I mean, people can put money on their stocks uh, via Robinhood or many, many other different apps right on their smartphone. Um, you know, they can basically wager thousands, tens of thousands. People put tons of money into stocks and if you're really trying to play the stock market then it's a lot like gambling obviously there are safer more long-term ways um to approach the stock market but um you know short trading uh day trading those sorts of things um options those are all different ways to sort of gamble on the stock market so it's really inspired by that as the idea of what we do now um instead of gambling we do these things on our phones uh, and can still lose tons of money and it's invisible and we don't even have to go anywhere to do it. So in a way it's, it's uh, yeah, it's even more dangerous. So I wanted to throw that in there. Um, you know, got myself a new venture. So the word venture, a little bit of an homage to the ventures for the House of the Rising Sun. I'll put it all on GME, uh, putting all my money on GameStop. Um, used to bet it all on black, throwing it back to a roulette wheel. Now red is all I see, of course, if you're in the red on a spreadsheet, that means that you're losing money or that you're, you know, not breaking even. Um, buying shares at 300 and selling them at 51, that means you're losing $249 a share. Thanks to good old Robin Hood, as in the app, don't need no House of the Rising Sun. So there's your breakdown of the song. And if, uh, thanks for sticking around for this whole thing. I guess uh, since I've done this breakdown in this video, this is also the, uh, the take of the song that I'm going to use. So good to know. I must have liked it enough to uh, go. I think uh, since it was my first time through a 12 bar blues, like getting the right rhythm, I was starting slow and getting faster as I went and getting some sort of ugly slide sounds. I also um, tried it out, other side, with the uh, electric, um, which was fun, but I had a harder time uh, singing along to that. I can get loud on this uh, without being too loud to sing over live, um, which was really the trick. Uh, with that guy over there. Um, so that's why I'm here on the acoustic, but this is kind of, it's a nice like bluesy acoustic, just like going up here to the 12th fret at the neck. Um, yeah, I dig in how it sounds. I kind of, you know, it's kind of a blues folk shuffle. kind of fun. I felt like with the electric guitar, I really had to focus on muting. Mm 
um, which is fine there, but I find it harder to be that controlled um, with my right hand and sort of be able to sing along. So uh, on the acoustic, I can do um, some down and up strokes, I'm not even using a pick, which is probably anathema to the blues. Uh, and that just feels better, especially for singing along. Um, I tried um, only one open tuning. I thought I might go try open D, but I'm in open G uh, for this one, which I think uh, worked out pretty well for this. I might try open D. Um, the difference is, you know, open D is a lot more like power chords. You're focusing on these top two strings um, a lot more. And then for open G tuning, you're down here on the bottom strings a little bit more which kind of sounds nice, but you have this, um, you're here instead of up on the top two strings. So it's a little less bassy, um, but that's fine. And then you can do. So I can just really, for these, uh, these bars here, instead of trying to go, instead of trying to keep the shuffle going, I can really just get in here like this. So, yeah, um, as a rhythm player, um, this appealed to me a little bit more. I'm going to keep playing around um, with blues on that because it sounds really good. I just need to figure out how I can uh, sing along with it. All right, so here I've wasted a whole bunch of time after that song, um, but I hope you all enjoyed it and enjoyed hearing a little bit about the process of writing it. I'm never sure if it's a good idea or if it just makes it look like a 12-minute song uh, and scares people away. So let me know down in the comments. Um, if you're scared away by the idea of a 12 minute song, or even if you got to the end of this, um, and what you think of me sharing my thoughts, I'm uh, following in Richard Dowling's um, habit of doing this after his, though he does take a break and come back and do it as a separate video. And I just ramble on right after I've played the song, which uh, maybe his approach is better, who knows. But yes, we'll wrap this up. Thank you so much for uh, listening to the song, for getting all the way here. If you have, please hit the like button um, really, my favoriteest thing that you could possibly do is to hit that subscribe button if you are not already. You can hit the little bell next to the subscribe button for notifications um, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the song of my 12-bar um, blues, first ever attempt, along with playing the slide, um, my take on House of the Rising Sun, talking about GME and Robin Hood. And um, yeah, just say hi in general. I'd love to hear from you. All right. Uh, thanks again for listening, and I'll catch you next week.